What a good day for this. We are talking grits. And yes. let's take it to a whole new level. I love it. Erin Murray's new cookbook is appropriately titled Grits. And she shares the recipes that are sweet and salty and everything in between. I also love when I'm reading cookbooks that have history. And yours has a lot of it. Yes. What made you take a deep dive into grits? So I, um, I was born in Georgia, but didn't grow up in the South. I kind of moved away. Came back about six years ago and was trying to get to know this region, you know? Mm -hmm. And I thought, what's a good lens? And I'm a food writer, so I'm like, I need a good, you know, yeah. southern iconic dish to study to get to know the South. Sure. And so dove in with grits and just researched history, um, culture, the way it fits into politics and gender issues and race issues. It just kind of all, like, I just did the three-year deep dive. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Okay, give us uh, the, the brief synopsis of how grits really came to be. I feel oh, like stirring. Okay. It makes me feel all right. good. Yeah, please do. And if you want to add, there's some cream that we can oh, put in there. Oh, awesome. Okay. <laughs> yes, of course. Perfect. So uh, grits, people tie it to the South. But mm -hmm. if you actually think about where corn originated, which was about nine, ten thousand 10,000 years ago, where they discovered corn, they also discovered hand milling tools. Okay. So as soon as people are growing corn, they're milling it and they're probably cooking it over flame and with water so right. grits maybe started tens of thousands of years you know ten thousand yeah. years ago versus what you know it's not necessarily tied to the south right specifically yeah. right. but we perfected it but we sure did yeah, and, we, we did. and we are a region that embraced it and loved it so oh my for goodness. sure okay yeah. so what did, what do we do here so I this I is added cream yeah what did, what did you start so with what so these have been cooking for a while because okay. i like to slow cook my grits it's okay. a slow food you stir them a lot i made mine with milk which gives them a little bit of that sweetness. Do and you do a cream. whole milk or skim? I do a whole. Okay. Um, these are not your, you know, these right. are your cheat day grits. <laughs> we already did the resolution. Yeah, like, we started the show with donuts, yeah. so there's nowhere to go but up. Nice. Okay. And, and the reason I like this one is because it combines grits and then another kind of heritage southern ingredient, which is sorghum. Mm. Um, so I make a sorghum butter, and I just, in a mixer, I do butter and sorghum and a little salt, and then it kind of, Oh, this, yeah, bring that compound. over so we can see Can I truth. just yeah. tell you, um, sorghum cookies are some of my favorite. Oh, it's and a, I have a big bottle of this at home that I'm not sure what to do with it. So do now you know. butter with it. I know. That's a and brilliant you can idea. put those on biscuits. You can put that on so many things. Right. Oh, I, for I, sure. Things I never think about. Yeah. Okay, That's so you amazing. make your own butter and yep. then you add it in. And then, well, and then when you plate it, you put oh, it, the butter on it. top. Okay. And then you put, I, um, you know, I like a little crunchy with my, and salty with my sweet. So I'm on board. Bacon over top. It's the perfect. All right, but let's do that. Out. Let's yeah. do some bacon on there. This do it. looks Can delicious. over the count too. I want to take This is absolutely it. gorgeous. Um, yeah. Now I gotta ask: when you're doing grits, is there? Do you need to have butter? Like, what is the secret <laughs> ingredient? Because I've had grits that have been great, and I've had grits that have gone way wrong. Here, I think. I mean, I. It depends on what you're doing with them. The okay. thing about grits is they really are a great blank canvas for so yeah. many things. So, if you're going to do a savory dish like shrimp and grits. Mm -hmm. um, you know, doing it with stock or doing it with a nice um, water and a little bit, you know, the salt is kind of a nice factor too. Okay. Uh, if you're doing it sweet, I, like I said, cream or milk to cook them in and, and just go slow because you don't want, well, I don't like gritty grits. I like smooth grits, you smooth know. Smooth grits. Now, when you say so, you need to stir them often. Yeah. What does that mean? Just don't want them to stick to the bottom. Okay. Of the yeah. Okay. You don't want to burn your grits. So like every time you walk by. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And gotcha. I'm not, oh, no, I'm not, this is like, if you're doing it over 40 minutes, like, Every five minutes or so. I got you. Yeah, all right. Not just, all right. It's yeah. not like you're churning butter. This yeah. is yeah. breakfast this. in a yes. bowl. I'm pretty pumped <laughs> about this. It is delicious. So excited to give this a try. I Good. love it. Okay, you brought several different kinds. Is I there did. one that you prefer? Mm. Uh, I, I mean, really, any small grit miller that you can find, buy their grits. Um, okay. We used to have grits mills all over the South. Now they're sort of coming Not back so as a much. resurgence. Mm -hmm. okay. So we've got these small producers. They're making heirloom corn grits now. Lots of different flavors and styles. So okay. um, anywhere you can so find. So you're on board with the hipster grits. I am. Yeah, I like, I like the unicorn grits, the colored grits. You know, you've got to have like I red or it. blue or any other color. So this is a all really yeah. tasty really way to good. do it. We love it, guys. The name of the book is Grits. Grits. Yeah, Thank make you. sure to pick up a copy of her book. It is wherever books are sold. Thanks well, I know I'm hogging the plate. No, it's fine. I know it's, it's a deep dive. You, you need know, to keep going. I'm, yeah, I'm it's delicious. I'm going. A, little, a little more bacon right. on that. 